Good morning, people. Um, just waiting for the bus. Got a latte and a sausage, cheese, and bean bake. Yeah, I'm going on an adventure today. I'm going to go and tackle Oxford, hopefully. Get it off. I've been there like three or four times, not done it, so today's the day. I'm in uh, Swindon now. I was going to get another bus to Oxford from Swindon, but that last bus uh, made me feel quite sick. So I'm going to get the train and hopefully be a bit warmer as well. So, to the station. Welcome to Oxford. Um, I'm in just the middle of town, just got off the train. Said business school there. Uh, I'm going to go and have a look at something. Um, Oxford um, Castle. And I'm just going to. Sorry, people will be past me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to find somewhere to go for a wee. Look at something pretty and then get on a roundabout because I'm cold. I want to cozy up and relax. Have a look around from the outside, I guess. And go up this mound, maybe. Maybe not, it's two pound. <laughs> That's plenty of culture, so to the roundabout. The roundabout I'm going for today is about a 20 minute walk from the centre of um, Oxford. I'm going to walk that way and there's a decathlon next to it. So I might see if I can get another layer to put on. It's pretty cold. Just had a McDonald's, um, a bit warmer, nice hot coffee. The roundabout is just up here. The sign for it there. Might go to Decathlon first though. See if I can get a jumper or something for cheap. Right, I think I'm ready for a roundabout camp now. Let's go. This is the road up to it. I think I might be better off getting on the other side of the road and walking up that way. So we will give that a go. This, this roundabout like straddles the A34, I think it is. It's quite a busy road and it's a bit of a slope, but got the hammock today. Let's go, let's get on it. There were traffic lights on the roundabout. That's a bit annoying. Bring my hammock today, so we got look for a couple of big trees. Is 
just one big tree. <laughs> need two together that's a bit of a reach this is pretty grim pretty grim roundabout I don't know if there's a lay-by there, because there's an awful lot of rubbish here. Hmm. I should probably go and have a look, make sure there's no lay-by, because if tr trucks like stop here in the night for a wee or something, I don't really want to be here. Hmm. I'll take my bag off, have a look. No, there's no lay-by, so... Just a really messy roundabout. Tree here. And this may be dead tree. It'll be under this branch, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. set up pretty much well yeah apart from the sleeping bag in there but yeah got my dd tarp up dd hammock so yeah just got to tidy up this little tree on the back and into the ground over the other side big bus up there but hopefully i'm nice and invisible in here now yeah, just got my um, foam mat in here. I did bring my uh, inflatable, but I don't know. I might see. It's going to go a bit. It's going to go down to minus two tonight, apparently. So we'll see. It's just a bit of a pain to blow up, and it's quite thin. I might get going to get a pump, and it's not best for hammock because hammock you end up moving around a lot, and even with my wider pad. It slips from underneath you, so yeah. Might give this a go tonight. The, the sleeping bag I've got is really good, so yeah. Ooh. I'm hanging in a hammock again on a roundabout. See, easily see the cars up there. Come on, spring, bring, bring the leaves. Oh, yeah, just, I took my fleece off, it was hot, and the ironic thing. It's bought a fleece. So it was hot, got hot getting on the roundabout, and someone left me a fleece already. So, yeah, could have saved myself a tenner. Oh well, I forgot how nice it is just to chill in a hammock, you know, have someone to sit. Yeah, this is a bit low, but it's all right. I'll get an hour, but just lay down. Yeah, that's the pudding. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, chocolate pudding and chocolate sauce. Like a firm bar. This is the one I've opened. I opened it because I 
I don't know what, I just wanted to have a look, and it's the most boring one. It's got a um, sausage casserole. Delicious, I'm sure. It's like a bag of all your tea, coffee, napkins, spoon. Uh, muesli, got that. This is the other main course, Pinda, Chinda Alu. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I probably butchered that, but there you go. I've got curry, uh, chickpea curry, and is there any rice? No, just chickpea curry. Yeah. What's this? What is this? What is this? Hot chocolate flavor drink. Probably horrible. Energy powder. Just nuts. Energy powder. Uh, cookie and cream flavoured bar, so hopefully like a type of well, whatever look. Cookies and cream, it sounds like Oreo though, doesn't it? But it doesn't feel like Oreo. Oatmeal block. Mm. What else we got? Uh, water, water purification tablets. Peanut bar. Uh, fruit fla fruit flavoured drink powder. So, uh, chilli sauce. How much more can I carry? And another fortified energy drink. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The Russian pack comes with some like waterproof matches, but I think I'm just gonna save them. You know, put them in a, a pack. Just prep and get like a, when well, I fall out of the canoe. Have like, a nice set of stuff. That makes any sense. <laughs> Let's get this going. Yeah, I've got my chickpea curry in. Don't know how long it's going to take. Opened it a little bit. Yeah. Now we wait for you know the treats we have forthcoming. Here's the chickpea curry. Don't know what else is in there. Cashews, I think. Yeah, chickpeas and cashews and a bit of oil. Hopefully it won't take too long to warm up. Let's give it a taste of cold. Get some of the other What is that? Potato maybe? Two the size. Oh, I'm blowing it. <laughs> That's alright.
the sausage casserole. I had just a weird aftertaste, or a weird just taste. I don't know what that is, it's disgusting. I'm gonna try a sausage. Really hoping for this chocolate pudding to be this meal's saving grace. Because at the moment, sausage casserole, it's, it's uh, one out of ten. Uh, curry, curry, a, you know, a three, four. It's, it's, it's all right. With some rice, we be better. So yeah, chocolate pudding. Come on. Oh, it's just going to be me squirting peanut butter and shoving cookies in my mouth. The oatmeal thing, I think, in there? Yeah, like that. Something like that. But yeah. And an energy drink. Dinner. Disappointed. Disappointed. So far, it's looking good. It's the right colour. The right colour. to six now. Still loads of traffic, people coming in from work and stuff. Up there and, and, the, and on the A34. But hopefully you'll quiet down it a bit. My phone's not got that much battery left on the battery pack I bought is looks like it's failing. But yeah, I'm gonna get comfy. Eat my cookies and creams. Just get oof. It is chilly. But yeah, this sleeping bag, the firm rest, parsec, it's really warm and comfortable. So yeah, I get, get in there and it might, might be an early night tonight. Just because my phone's dead. I mean, uh, hey. Sometimes, you know, that's good. A nice mental break. <laughs> Just the sound of the cars. That's a big lorry up there though. I'm probably quite visible, but you know, whatever. I've just been up for a wee, it's about um, 11 o'clock, zero degrees. It's all right, I'm, but I'm gonna get properly in my sleeping bag now. The road's quite now, a bit, but. Still a lot of lorries and stuff on it, but yeah. Quarter to two now. The cars have quieted down and the lorries and all that. So I'm gonna try and get some sleep. I've had a little nap already, but yeah. Minus two, not too cold. On this just like foam mat. So yeah.
Good morning. It's uh, about quarter to seven, I think, now. I was uh, went down to minus two last night. It's a little, a little cold, but um, yeah, it's all right. The sleeping bag kept me nice and warm. This um, the sleeping pad done a, did a better job of like staying in place than a, like an air bed underneath me would. That's all right. Yeah, that's um, probably all right. So yeah, let's, let's get up and do this something nice to eat. Nice, a nice treat after last night's debacle of a meal. Don't judge, the last night was rough. Thanks for joining me in Oxford. I'm gonna watch the world go by. My train's for like half an hour, so I'll see you next time. See you in the bushes.